left off, we uh, tweaked the drums in Easy Drummer. We put this Maserati um, compressor plug in on the whole drum track. Um, and I'm not just not being nitpicky. Yes, I could go through and separate the kick and the snare in separate tracks and give them their own EQ and compressor. Um, but I just, uh, I prefer to keep moving and keep being creative rather than being geeky, tweaky mix mode. Um, so now we're going to look at one of my favorite plugins, another Spectrosonics plugin called Stylus RMX. So let me drag this page over here. This, we looked at Omnisphere in a separate video, which is synths and pads and really just really creative uh, synth sounds. And you think synth, you think, think electronic, but don't think that way. Think uh, percussive, think kind of little modern elements, think nice little lush pads underneath uh, can really make a song sound less traditional, a little bit more hip and modern. And in this song, we are using Trillion, which is their bass module. Uh, and we're using it for this arpeggiated part in the chorus. Uh, let me just, uh, while I'm thinking about it, just play it. This is the uh, trillion part. And it's playing with this other. So those are our bass parts together. And again, I'm just trying to show you guys, you doesn't have to be one bass part, you can layer your parts, same thing with drums, and that's what we're about to do here. All right, so I created an instrument track, a stereo instrument track, and I instantiated Stylus RMX, and this is Stylus RMX. There we go. Okay. And you'll notice it's exactly like Omnisphere. We're looking at the mixer tab down here. This is MIDI channel one. I'm going to close that. MIDI channel two, MIDI channel three, and there can play eight different parts. So I just was going through and playing with some different parts. And um, so for like the verse, when you click on a sound or click on any blank area, it takes you to the sound browser. Um, I, I'm sure the directory. These are different sounds, and this is a suite or a called uh, Alice's Dream. And in every, I guess they're calling it suite, um, there's a bunch of different variations of that. So here's the first one. It's like a submarine. And I kind of like this one. So you can see it kind of takes this whole groove here and then takes it apart, gives you a couple different versions of it. But this is the whole groove. And to get it, I have it on down here, you'll see next beat. So in, instead of going through and actually creating a drum track, I go through and choose sounds here in the mixer, and I go, ah, eh, I kind of like that. Then I move on to the next sound. So if I wanted to listen to this in the song, let's say we want this to come in at verse one. I'm gonna click right before verse one. And I'm looking at, I'm gonna to go to the window, the big counter, and I'm gonna say, hey, big counter, we wanna see you in bars and beats. So I know that the verse starts at beat bar six. So I can just look at the number, and then when I'm ready, I'm gonna click on this preset right here so I can hear how it sounds with the song. So it's a little busy, right? Check this one out. That's not the one. This one. I kind of like that. And it's working right now. This is something that would be kind of cool layered with the drums. It's just a little different. Okay? So we're going to keep that in mind. We're not going to put it in the song yet. And now I'm going to go to, I can either go to Mixer part two or down here here's part one this alice's dream that's the little tinkly thing and now part two uh, i found this funky part called ice brushes 
and that might be something that would go in the chorus. I'm looking at my markers here, and I know my chorus starts uh, at bar 14. So let's make a group. I want to hear Stylus RMX with Easy Drummer with the bass. So let's make a bass and drums group. So when I hit solo, the only those things will solo. So I'm going to highlight the tracks that I want to be in the group, and I can just, if I don't hold the shift key, it's not going to select any other tracks. And if I hold the shift key and click at the end, those are the four tracks I want. Let's say I don't want the e-drums, but I do. I'm going to hold the command key, and that's how to, if I wanted to uh, select other tracks and keep this group. So you can either hold the command key and select multiple tracks, or you can cl click on the track on the left, hold the shift key, click on the track on the end, if they're right next to each other. Hopefully that makes sense. So I'm going to Command G to make a group. And I'm going to name the group up here. Bass and drums. Drums. OK. So one thing you want to check before you make a group is globals. So it's basically saying, hey, when I hit, when I change the volume, the whole group's going to change. When I mute something, all four of them are going to mute. And also, you, what you want down here is soloing. So sometimes it, it's turned off and you go, why aren't they soloing? So when you create the group, you go here and you make sure solo is checked. Now, you'll see over here in the left side, we have all, and then we have bass and drums. So if I go into this group right now and I say solo, it's going to solo all four of those tracks. And when I grab the volume, it's going to grab all four of them. So it's really cool when you're... Uh, working with things in groups, obviously drum sets, background vocals, and you kind of want the levels to move together. Or you want to, like this in, this example, I want to solo just these things and see, do they work together? So where I was, we were listening at the chorus, and I was trying this Ice Brushes remix sound. Since we have a group, so there's a, diff a way to turn this. I want to turn this group off because I just want to mute easy drums. The If it's Command G to create a group, to m disable all groups, and I do this all the time, Command Shift G, and watch what happens. Command Shift G, now down here under groups, bass and drums is gray. Command Shift G, toggles, makes all the groups active. But say I want to keep all my other groups active, if I had other groups, and I just want to disable this one, it's as simple as just clicking on it. And if, if it's highlighted, it's enabled. If it's not highlighted, it's not. If it's grayed out, it's disabled. So um, Command-Shift-G, it might be more, make some more sense for now for you guys just to turn them off and turn them back on. So I'm going to turn it off because I want to not have easy drums in this group anymore. Ah, here we go. I'm going to have to click on this to, to play it. Okay. So I kind of like that too. So you can see, um, like here's Easy Drum. This is a sound, a suite called Reverend. This is more traditional drums. This is a collection called Backbeat. And these are fills. So you can, exactly the same way that we put together uh, in Easy Drummer along the timeline. It's the same thing with these. You choose whatever element you want in whatever order, and then you drag this to, to the timeline of Pro Tools. So it works pretty much exactly the same way, and you're just piecing together these elements. And that's what we're going to do once we choose parts. But I wanted you guys just to see other libraries, um, the core library, uh, I mean, RMX grooves, and these are all, I don't know why they call them sweets, but hiccup.
Okay, interesting. Osmosis. Woo. Granular flower. And you never know how these are going to work until you put them in. Data life. So that could also work in the chorus. Let's listen to that. Whoop, missed it. I'm going to bring in the drums. Okay. Again, I, I, I like it. Um, so what if we wanted this, these two parts to be in the song, that little tinkly part we chose earlier? So next to Stylus RMX, I'm going to hold the Command key and just select Stylus RMX. I'm going to hit Command Shift N, and I'm going to create two, I hit the, the number two, MIDI tracks. Boom, create. So. Here's our MIDI tracks right here, and the first thing we need to do is tell it, hey, I want you to play Stylus RMX Channel 1. That's going to be the tinkly part, uh, for lack of a better name. And then let's here, let's go Stylus RMX Channel 2. Okay, now this is going to be tinkly, and this is going to be the... Um, loop let's just call it loop one all right so we've got stylus rmx channel one stylus rmx channel two so all we have to do is i'm going to go back to one right here and there's the part that we want we want it to come in at verse one so i'm dragging it right to verse one i need it to be there we go I'm looking at these numbers right here to make sure I'm dragging it on the beat. So there we go. And what if we just wanted to play up through the chorus? How would I do that? Command D. So I'm looking right here. It's two even bars. Command D, Command D, and Command D up to the chorus. Then on the chorus, on part number two, I can get there also from here. Actually, it was part number three. Uh, let's do two and three and decide which one we like better. I'm going to make a new MIDI track, Command Shift N, and again the down arrow MIDI. And I'll let's name this Loop Two. And this needs to play Stylus RMX Channel Three. So we're going to go right here to the first loop and say, "Hey, Ice Brushes, you come in." on in the chorus and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to go to part number three this data life thing and i'm going to drag that there and it looks like i need two of them i'm going to double click on that to highlight the entire region i'm going to make sure it's four even bars and then i have my parts so i am going to if i want to unsolo everything i'm going to hold the option key and click on solo. The option key, again, is so great if you want to, if I hold option and mute, it's gonna mute everything. If I hold option and put it into record, it's gonna put every track in record. So, let's listen to what we have. So, we've got the intro. And we're gonna add something I don't know if it's going to be piano. And it's the vocals. And then the drums. Let's listen to the chorus with just loop one. We'll turn it up just so we can. Okay, 
Let's hear what the other loop sounds like. So I'm muting loop one and let's hear loop two. And just first, I'm just gonna listen to these two together. Why don't I hear it? Because Stylus RMX is not soloed and these MIDI tracks are referring to Stylus RMX. This is where I'm gonna use solo safe. I'm going to hold the command key and I'm going to click on solo. So when I solo any of the MIDI tracks, we're still going to hear it because solo safe means you can put anything in solo, but I'm safe from being soloed. So when I hit, uh, when we hit play on this, I was going to hear what these sound like together. And I can make one right and one left. See what with the easy drums. Let's add our bass. It's a little, I know it's out there, but I just wanted to show you Stylus RMX, how it can take a song with just generic drums and just make it a little more hip. Obviously, I'm probably doing too much, but I just wanted to get, give you the gist of how to layer sounds and layer loops and throw in some different elements. And also just for you guys to start thinking of creating a palette of plugins and knowing when traditional drums work and when you can kind of go, hey, I wonder if a little bit of funky stylus would work and make this song sound a little edgier. So anyway, hope that was helpful and let's move on.